Welcome to the Federation. And here we are once again. Welcome back on board Superstars Galactic Federation networks around the planet Earth. And uh, my word, there's a few networks popping up around the galaxy as we speak. I just want to say a big thank you to all our uh, subscribers and Federation superstars around the world who uh, have been writing some beautiful uh, letters of uh, great support and uh, motivation and uh, how wonderful it is that we can uh, sit here and motivate uh, the wonderful people on Earth and, uh, and get such great information and news back. And it's uh, good news to see uh, the Federation in Australia down there topping uh, number 69 as the most watched channel uh, on the uh, on the wonderful ancient continent of Gondwana. And it's good to see that uh, the consciousness is opening to uh, the wonderful topics and issues in which uh, we require for the people of Earth to uh, have a greater understanding to. On this transmission, it is the 24th day of April 2008, and uh, we're going to have a quick squeeze down there with the boys looking at global rescue once again we've had some uh, wonderful insights into dr. ABC getting you the people on earth prepared for the uh, for the climate change activities that will bring about uh, enormous change but it'll also mean that we need to get ourselves sorted and uh, the more we can understand about um, human calamity and emergency management the better we will all be so on this transmission for global rescue we will be looking at the recovery position how we uh, deal with uh, patients who have uh, had a bit of a knock We've had come across some hard times. Anyway, uh, boys, take it away. Have some fun. Welcome to Global Rescue. Our goal is to help you prepare and respond to emergencies. As people all over the world are faced with extreme weather and social unrest, the time now is to be ready for action. This is Global Rescue. Welcome back folks to another transmission with Global Rescue Emergency Management. We live in a time of impending chaos. Chaos. It doesn't need to be chaos, does it Tommy? <laughs> Where did that, is he going that, <laughs> just go, every man and woman for themselves, because that's what normally happens, but it doesn't need to be that way. We do need superstars out there who can, can take, who can, can take control or manage a scene, no matter where it confronts you, because this is inevitable. That's right. It already hasn't happened in your location, in your neighbourhood. Climate change is coming to every neighbourhood around the planet. That's right. We've got to get you guys prepared. Now, today, Tommy, what are we looking at? Today we're looking at the recovery position. As Danny just mentioned, we all uh, uh, never look forward to coming across uh, these, these horrible, they, could, they, they seem horrible, these events that occur, and uh, it can leave a, a dark stain in your underpants or a, a horrible blotch in your memory because they can be very traumatic. And often in Global Rescue, we talk about the, uh, the importance of remaining calm in these, uh, in these so-called emergencies because really the outcome of the entire scene relies on the way you think and your, uh, your preparation to deal with it. The recovery position is very important. Um, on uh, previous transmissions we've looked at dealing with DRABC, looking at airway and uh, pulmonary uh, cardio resuscitation, CPR and EAR and uh, on this occasion we're in luck because we've just found out that our injured person is breathing, they do have a pulse, so what do we do there just to make sure that they're in the most stable position uh, to look after themselves. Recovery position, we're going to check out some shots over this transmission to, uh, so you get a bit of an idea. It's effectively rolling a person onto their side so that their airway is open and, uh, and clear and that, they can, uh, that there's no pressure on their, uh, on their uh, auxiliary muscles on their chest and to uh, ultimately ensure that they're most in the most comfortable position to, uh, to recover as you summons help. Absolutely, Tommy. There's a couple of vital uh, uh, areas here that we, um, uh, that we need to obviously address with our patient who is recovering. And uh, I think you probably should go and buy a lottery ticket if they are recovering. It's a, it can be sometimes a very rare moment in time to get your patient back. But uh, two areas here, Tommy, obviously uh, to continue on with, uh, with the breathing mechanisms, uh, making sure that uh, if anything has been lodged in the trachea, uh, we need to make sure that there's access for that, uh, that material, that foreign matter, to have access to remove that from, uh, from obviously uh, the mouth. Um, and we're also very concerned about asphyxiation. Yep. Yep. 
Yep, and uh, as we said, uh, probably one incident we can think of where you would not consider using the recovery position, that really comes back to deeper danger and assessing the scene as to what was the mechanism of injury which has caused this person to be in the state they're in. Um, sometimes if a person is breathing and has a pulse and uh, there's, a, there's an indicator that they have fallen from a great height or they've uh, anything has happened that it may have given them a spinal injury and if you suspect that in any which way or at least can talk to them they might even be able to tell you um, in this instant we need to consider leaving them in the position that they're in and uh, until we summon help because that's where uh, the, uh, the role of paramedics can come in and make sure they're immobilised uh, according to the safest way to keep their, uh, their spine aligned and uh, this is the only situation where you shouldn't consider putting them in a, in a, spot, in a recovery position simply as uh, it may uh, exacerbate the injuries later Later on uh, but all in all when we find someone breathing and with a pulse and uh, it's the best move we can do is to put them in a comfortable position on their side if they do vomit uh, this can cause a lot of trouble later on cool too easy the recovery position is a first aid technique recommended for assisting people who are unconscious but are still breathing when an unconscious person is lying face upwards there are two main risk factors which can lead to suffocation one is the tongue can fall to the back of the throat due to the loss of muscular control. The back of the tongue then obstructs the airway, causing suffocation. Secondly, fluids, possibly blood, but particularly vomit, can collect in the back of the throat, causing the person to effectively drown. When placing our patient into the recovery position, this should entail that the mouth is downward so that vomit or blood can drain from the patient. The chin is well up to keep the epiglottis open, arms and legs are locked as to stabilise the position of the patient and note that with a female patient it is often best to place her on her left side. And don't forget, summons help and you've done a great job. Guys, this is Global Rescue. We're looking at the recovery position today. It's preparation and response to the wide range of calamities that can occur on the planet. Be calm, be ninja, be cool, be at one with the universe and you'll be fine. We'll see you on the next transmission. You beauty. How are we doing there, folks? I'm here with Joey. How you going, Dad? Yeah, all good for a Thursday morning. Yeah, you little beauty. It's the 24th day of April 2008. Uh, we're here at the wonderful Mount Martha by the sea. There's a bit of a fog today. It's nice and cool. We hope you enjoyed our transmission for Global Rescue, uh, looking at the recovery position. And uh, it's amazing how many lives can be saved by simply putting someone into the recovery position. Keep the airway open, put them on their side, and go and summons help. Now let's take a look at some of the news uh, from around the world. Um, first of which we've got uh, from the Mississippi. A tornado has hit the Mississippi, causing some blackouts up there. Um, some surveys have been carried out in Washington uh, on this occasion looking at two large fault lines there and the uh, concern is raised of the, uh, the potential for an earthquake activity has, uh, has increased in this area after, uh, after swarms have been uh, located in that, in that region. Um, also a giant undersea volcano has been uh, picked up off, uh, off Iceland itself which uh, makes me wonder about the amount of ice melt which is occurring there and all that magma under the, uh, under the tectonic plates of that region. And uh, Joey's got some, uh, some more earthquakes here. What are these ones here, Joey? Yeah, these are around the uh, Russian and um, also the uh, um, yeah, Madrid area. But it's 23 earthquakes in four days at the uh, New Madrid uh, fault line with a, uh, you know, an effective uh, Mexico 5 to 4. So that, that, that's, that's pretty severe. And it's, 23. It's really, yeah. And also we've got a uh, volcano in Russia, which is at uh, Camp Chutka, which is uh, obviously in Russia, with an activity um, taking place there and also emitting ash. So there's a bit of uh, volcanic uh, eruption taking place there just north of, uh, of Europe. Plenty of uh, water movement by the looks of it with all this volcanic and, uh, and seismic activity. It's generally an indicator of fluid shift on the planet and ice melt, which brings us to other studies of uh, how the sun influences ice melt on the planet and causes these tectonic plates to, uh, to, uh, to add pressure to them and force our uh, volcanic activity to, uh, to increase. Uh, guys, it's time to leave. Uh, tomorrow's transmission is Holy Joe's Friday and it's all about uh, comedy being the best medicine. We're going to look at some MILK with the song Zero. I hope you're well there, Danny and Forty over there at the Red Centre and we'll catch you guys on the next transmission. Take it easy.
people. Tomorrow, of course, is Holy Joe's Friday, which means uh, M-I-L-K, a back for a return of an injection of love and passion. Tomorrow's tune being zero. Looking forward to that immensely. <laughs>